Okay. You think it's a good thing? Totally On good thing? On the whole, thing. I think it's a good thing, yeah. OK, OK. I just want to bring in Rachel before we take the calls. Do you think it's a good thing in the programme? Uh, yeah, I do think it's a good thing. It's about how, it's about everybody getting getting a fair go. Yeah. It's not really yeah. fair to compare it to sports because sports is about competing on a level playing field, which is why women don't compete against men uh, because it's not a level playing field. But in terms of modelling, you get hand models, you get mm -hmm. eye models, you get ear models. The fact that you might not have an arm or you're in a wheelchair doesn't necessarily preclude you from those modelling jobs. So why should we preclude disabled models from competing um, amongst other models? But if we're saying that there's uh, you know, when you've got experts saying that there's very unlikely to be work for them at the end of it, and you, you but that's know, not necessarily true, though, right? Know, so is it? it's not necessarily true that there's not going to be I, work at the end of it. Also, Otherwise... by opening the subject up and by getting the girls on television, very intelligent girls who yeah, have been are, through a hell of a lot in their life, you know, it hopefully will Actually, say if there's an really if there's an advertiser out there and people out there, and it's up to the public as well to say, okay, this is acceptable. We would like to see more disabled people. Yeah. The people in the public have I would have to liked to have seen one company, one company from anywhere in the world say there's a hundred thousand prize up at the end of this. Yes, so that's why if that was there, I'd be sitting there thinking this is the best program since sliced bread. Exactly. And I'm kind of gutted that that's not there, but uh, let's throw it open to you. Uh, do we like the show? Maybe not. Amy. First caller thinks it's fantastic. It's Tanny on line one. Tanny, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tanny, Tanny. I'm very well, thank Hi you. Hi there. Hello. I thought it was. So what do we think? Good show? I thought it was absolutely fantastic and I don't think the bottom line is about fairness or who's going to win or the size of the prize. Right. I think the whole thing that surrounds modelling, which really gets up people's noses, is the industry tells you how you should look. Yeah. They make girls out there want to starve themselves, to change the way that they are. It affects them psychologically and it turns them into completely different people and we don't get to see real people. Models are just figments of somebody's imagination made to look a certain way. And if these girls in this competition can get across one thing, that you should be comfortable with the body that you got given when you were born or that you ended up with through circumstances, and you can still make it. And if you can go home at the end of the day and just say, I'm comfortable with who I am, with no arms or my legs not working, which yeah. is like myself, and I can just be happy, and somebody tells me I need to have a nose job or lose weight or change the way I look, I can say, well, sorry, I'm happy with the way I am, and if you don't like that, that's your hard cheese. Okay. People out there are size 16, and that's your average size. Yeah? That's yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. And people are being told they need to starve themselves to look good. Why? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we kept hearing about about people using real models, and there's so few of the few companies that do. Or it's such. It still seems so invisible. I can remember in Fleet Street years ago writing about how all these companies going to advertise with real models, and you never see them. Tanny, thank you for the call. Nice to hear from you again. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go to Sandra from Scotland on line four. Sandra, good morning. Good morning. Do you like the show? Um, I do like the show. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to say about it? Right, what I would like to say about, um, sorry, I like your show. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a start. Um, no. The show itself, I feel personally that, um, you're, that the show is di exploiting disabled, disabled people. Um, in this world of perfection, um, where everybody is sort of like asked to be perfect, um, I wonder how they can actually go ahead and... Um, put such a show on. Well, wouldn't you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you rather there were disabled girls having a crack on TV at a modelling, at a modelling prize than having no disabled girls on TV having a crack at a modelling prize? Well, We've got girls, normal, able-bodied, you know, able-bodied, classic beauties fighting for modelling contracts on one channel, so why can't we have disabled women, beautiful women with great personalities and great other bits as well fighting for a prize on somewhere else? Well, I think personally that that if they if they want to give people um, the opportunity, and yeah. I totally think that they should give yeah. people the opportunity, that what they should do is put disabled models in a show with everyday models. You know, I mean, they should be treated. Um, with the same respect. Maybe that's the next step, Sandra. Maybe this programme, with Mark and the judges there, they're opening the door. And I have to say, Sandra, thank you for the call. See, unfortunately, this is the reason the programme had to be made, because there were other modelling shows, really famous ones, that yeah. I, you know, I could mention, yeah. that a few of the girls actually went to. 
and they were refused to actually be on the show and they thought there was something wrong with them mentally or you know they were you know they were on drugs or something like that and you will see that in the next coming weeks and i think we have to s put this issue out there so then it ca they can be mixed and it's up to the public to demand that okay mark thank you very much for joining us this morning lovely to meet you as well i really look forward to your performances in the, the coming weeks i hear they're very fiery and uh, and thank you uh, well in fact thank you everybody who phoned up on that one that is the panel part of this morning's show all but done by the goodbye so it's uh, Nice Thank to see you, you again, Paul. Much, yeah. Best of luck with no parlay. 25 years. I was obviously yeah. nine when it last came out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give it up for the panel as well. <laughs>